From your most watched, most trusted weather source, here's your certified, most accurate first alert forecast. Sometimes when we get tropical systems, they're in and out pretty quick. This is not going to be one of those systems. It's going to be more of a marathon rather than a sprint. But luckily, right now, we're still kind of on the outside of those greater rainfall impacts that could happen across Georgia and South Carolina. Already getting a little bit of rain, but notice it's manageable rain. It's light, maybe a few pockets of some heavier rain, but nothing that's going to cause any issues anytime soon. Even if we do get some of this rain that's over the water, we're not getting those really intense bands of heavy rain that are down to the southwest. We've got a tornado warning there outside of Savannah, right over Savannah uh, right now. And all this continues to flow in. So this is expected to arrive later in the week, but it's still going to be a little bit of a wet day tomorrow into Wednesday, even before we start to get into these really intense bands of heavy rain. Jacksonville to Brunswick and the worst of this system, the worst wind and probably the worst rain. One last look at it from visible satellite. Still see that circulation, but not quite as active as it was when it was over the warm waters of the Gulf of Mexico. One thing that I really like about this setup, there's a lot of dry air outside of Debbie. So hopefully eventually that dry air will wrap up into Debbie and that would really cut down on some of the rainfall totals because just look at the mess across Georgia and a good chunk of South Carolina where many areas could walk away with maybe at least two feet of rain. Some could touch 30 and get Florence type of rainfall amounts. Right now for us, we're not expecting a impact like Florence, but doesn't mean we're not going to run into issues as that heavy rain pushes up our way. Still think a lot of those higher amounts are on the other side of I-40, but it's going to be close and the track is going to be very important. So we've kind of laid it out for you to kind of give you an idea. Tomorrow, spotty heavy rain. There may be some issues, but very isolated and pretty low chance of any flash flooding. Wednesday, we start to get into our first solar weather days, breezy rain, but still expecting most places to be okay. We do have to watch the tornado threat on the coast. Thursday, Friday, the worst of Debbie, including Thursday night and probably even Friday night up to around sunrise on Saturday. And then eventually we're expecting the rain to end on Saturday. They're really tough to kind of give you an idea. And there's a tornado threat on Wednesday, very small portion, really the immediate coastline under a threat for some quick spin ups or water spouts coming onto land. Not going to be done with the tornado threat that probably continues into Thursday, Friday maybe even Saturday if the system continues to linger around. So right now the extreme threats, the heavy rain, widespread flash flooding, uh, the, the kind of forts type of scenario that we've seen happen before across the Carolinas just outside of our area down to the southwest. We've got red though for the major impact, still six inches to a foot of rain, tornadoes possible, road closures possible, but that high impact road closures and coastal flooding going to be worse. Probably Onslow County southward back down towards Wilmington towards Myrtle Beach, but every one of us have a chance of six to 12 inches of rainfall and then you factor in the wind still looking like we could get some gusts 40 to 50 miles per hour. This is Thursday at lunchtime and notice those winds just keep blowing water up the river. So as it's raining really hard, that water may not be able to drain like it typically would. As we get into Friday, we start to see winds shift a little bit, but still getting 30 to 45 mile per hour wind gusts for tonight. Pretty calm. Enjoy the calm weather while we have it showers at times warm and humid. Decent day. I think there will be some games played for the Little League of uh, Softball World Series, but rain chances get a little bit higher as we go through the next few days, kind of starting off lighter uh, and then gradually increasing, but still think we could have some pretty heavy downpours at times as we head into Tuesday. Uh, but again, Wednesday kind of entering that highest impact day and then Thursday and Friday really expected to be where we pick up the most rain, have the strongest winds and probably the highest tornado threat as well. So it's really today and tomorrow where people should start taking advantage of the time they have left to prepare in any way they can. Yeah, prepare for heavy rain, prepare for flash flooding. River flooding would come afterwards, but as those winds crank up, we could start to see some coastal areas run into about maybe two to four feet of storm surge. Okay, all right, thanks, Zach.